Aloha, energy healers. Uh, I, I realized yesterday when um, when I was uh, offering the Metatronic uh, color ray technology transmissions that um, there's another level of support that um, I feel that this group needs. So I'm offering it here now, and I'm just waiting for a few more of you to gather into the space before I, before I begin. And um, I wanted to share and just share about how, how important I feel it is to begin to harmonize realities now. So that's why I'm offering the Metatronic Color Ray Technologies and the price is going to go up. So if you're interested, you need to get in there now and um and but this is going to be a little bit different what i'm doing right now we're going to, i'm going to do a little bit of energetic body work um so because i can do distance body work it's one of the things i've developed over the years and it's not going to be specific so when i work with people individually with this it's very different i will very specifically work on different body parts but this is going to be more of a transmission to help you um, to help you receive the support in your body that you need and to even help to unknot some of the chi in your muscles and um, in your mind and not the chi in your mind uh, and just bring a sense of um, overall well-being and vitality in the body. So I'm going to begin transmitting that now. And I'll tell you, I'll just explain what, like, what I'm sensing and what it's offering. Okay, so right away, um, this is going to, um, this is going to the heart chakra, going to the front of the heart and the front of the chest. Um, there are a lot of things, a lot of, a lot of tightness going on in the intercostal muscles and um, in the, the chest itself and the layers of the red meridian um, and in the lungs. So there's a lot of things being uh, worked on like in the, pec, in the pec muscles and everything. So just tune in and you might not feel it there and that's fine, but that, that's where it's being focused right now. There's also a little bit of work going on for the cerebrospinal fluid so that it does start to flow in a more harmonious way for all of your realities right now. So if you care to share how this is feeling for you, that would be wonderful. But I, I encourage you to really feel it in your body. Oh, and now some work on the traps. There's a lot of, um, lot of kind of, oh, <laughs> a lot of hardened and crystallized thought forms in your trapezius muscles and locked energy. It's literally like lot of vitality that's that you could be using locked into those muscles right now, and that's working on that right now. And also uh, an opening of the meridians in the feet to help outlet some of any, any stagnation as well. Yeah, and, and I do, I like, this is also working on some, um, <laughs> uh, oh good, tension release. Yes, the muscle up for sure. Uh, this is working on like some of the lymphatic congestion in the armpits and even in the neck. So it's, it's working very quickly and rapidly because there's a lot of stuff going on with people. Um, and there's also, it's like they're working on the mucosal uh, lining of your of the sinuses. 
um, because there's a, a lot of stuff coming in there. And I know from my good friend Amy Bellert that um, she noticed a lot more uh, chemtrails, right? A lot, there are a lot more, she noticed a greater amount of chemtrails in the air. And so I'm not surprised that there's a great amount of work being done on the lungs and in the mucosal lining of the sinuses. And even like the throat, the esophagus, the airways. <laughs> it's easy. I, I, I'm, uh, it's not hard to make me laugh. <laughs> but that's, I appreciate it, Crystal. <laughs> This is interesting. I, I, I'm having something come in and I want to see what's going on. There's only three of you watching, or at least that's what uh, Facebook says. Um, so it's like, are, out of the three of you, um, are are any of either of you or any of you um there's some is there some thought of switching to a more plant-based diet oh good good crystal i'm glad clear cleared her throat yep it's working anyone thinking about switching to a plant-based diet or thinking about eliminating fish from their diet or bringing fish into their diet Oh, your chest feels okay good hey Karen hey <laughs> yeah so I'm doing a transmission it's energetic body work right now working on um, working on still working on the the cerebrospinal fluid the brain um, some of the throat the esophagus like the mucosal linings of the respiratory system and and bringing in some support for the respiratory system to strengthen it oh that's you crystal you have fish the ice i'm just sitting here going why why do why do i i see fish i was like see fish <laughs> I'm like, what is going on over here <laughs> Uh, so it monica sent your chest feels heavy vegetarian for 30 years okay yeah so there's there's a lot going on and then you know there's a lot of in my perception and this is not like absolute truth like in my perception there's a lot of thought form of what the virus how the virus impacts your body going on and it's important to keep your body like clear of those forms it, in a way it's it's that will that could spread the virus just as much as you being in contact with someone physically who has it. So a lot of what this is doing, this energetic work, is it's helping to work on the level, the physical level of the body to remove any thought forms that are pertaining to like worry about your immune system or your virus, but also to open up and diffuse the chest so that you can feel more free and more liberated so a lot of that's why the lymphatic system is being worked on um yeah so let me know how this feels for you as it's going on and i'll keep telling you what is being worked on <laughs> yeah yeah a lot of, and i got like a lot of very interesting work being done on the intercostal muscles like a lot of people don't think about their except their breathing muscles they don't think about this or not until you hurt your ribs you don't think about it um and so in the back especially there's a, some work on the lower ribs on those intercostal muscles and then working up so um there seems to be a little bit of stagnation especially very close to the vertebrae so let me know how this feels what you're feeling Hey, hey, Lona. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there's there's also, like, again, like a lot of focused work on the mucosal lining of the sinuses. 
the mouth, the esophagus. So you might notice a change in your breathing. And what I'm being told is that you may actually feel like you're breathing, like even though you're inside, you might feel like you have an infusion of this pure air coming in. Hi, Audrey. So you may notice a change in your breathing. Oh, okay, lots of clearing of the physical eye itself. The rods, the cones, like the nerves and everything. And um, yeah. So I've been doing energetic body work in my sessions for a while. I never really introduced it. Um, or talk, I don't talk about it that much because I needed to go a little bit deeper to understand how this works for me. Um, because you can, if we're in session together privately, then you, you will actually feel the physical touch happen. Um, you'll definitely feel a lot going on in your physical body. Um, and it's just been something I developed working on bodies for a long time for, you know, for over 20 years and part of it was I needed to multitask and and um, while sometimes while I was working on bodies and I figured out how to do that yeah so Monica saying your eyes been dry for some time and nasal as well yes a lot of lubricating going on and and just getting this flow this nice flow of vitality through these body parts um, and like reminding you of your vitality, reminding you like, so, you know, um, I'm just getting a very, you know, um, so, you know, my team, like my soul and my, the team that I work with, you know, in the soul aligned team that I work with, I'm getting a lot, like I, because I've never done. about this about offering this and to offer this more often because um, because your bodies are actually kind of like vibrating back to me in a way it's not when I'm reading your energy but I'm getting a lot of vibration back from everybody's bodies who's receiving this of that there's a joy to receiving this that there's something that is helping you feel better um, and helping you to even be more, your body, like, wanting you to be more aware of them. Right. So let me know how that feels, because it's like I'm getting a big, big, huge, massive, expansive, like, do this more, Jennifer. Yeah, you right. Yeah, like, you'll get, like, so Crystal does body work, so she... You know, she knows where the, about the intercostal muscles. And, um, yeah, um, and, yeah, it's your turn next. So, like, that's why a lot of this is being worked on right now because we forget about these muscles. And when we can, just so you understand, when you can change the shape of your ribs, like how you're holding your ribs, your the consciousness changes meaning if those muscles are tight if the diaphragm is tight you're going to be locked into a way of thinking you'll be locked into a way of being but when you can start to loosen those muscles and the ribs hang differently and they have that feeling i, I want you to understand something about bones people have this idea that bones are you know like we hear it right oh it's hard right they're actually much more, they have much more elasticity and flexibility than you realize. They become brittle when we over calcify our system. So when a doctor tells people to use calcium to build their bones, it actually can, it can actually be harmful. It depends on the person. I'm not saying this is an absolute. But what bones really need are they, you, you need to know in your mind is your bone, the bones are singing right now. Just so you know, bone, the bone that you need to understand in your mind that bones are, are flexible. They have a level of resilience and flexibility. They don't 
it takes a lot to break them. It takes the right kind of angle and things like that. We don't have to know about that. But um, they want you to know how much more flexible they are, how much more alive they are. And so the ribs themselves, when you can know this, and especially because they're attachments, you know, there's a lot of cartilage attachments between the ribs and the spine and the, and the sternum. Uh, really more the sternum, you you start to understand that there needs to be a level of flexibility here. Um, and so if we can change the shape of, um, <laughs> if we can change the shape of our ribs, then we can change the shape of our consciousness. That's pretty cool to know. And the way to do that is to work on those accessory breathing muscles there are a lot of them that's why all this has been there's a lot of focus like in the mucosal lining but there's been focus to this whole transmission of working on your intercostal muscles even the drawing the lymph or moving the lymph system through the armpits and um even you know just working on helping you to feel like like putting this in your chest so let me know if you begin to feel that Yeah, that feels good to me because <laughs> I'm also transmitting this to myself as I'm transmitting it to all of you. <laughs> I would be able to tell what it's doing without doing that, but I want to receive it too. Um, so this, the, one of the other reasons this was born was because years ago I asked to feel my soul, to be able to feel what it was like to receive body work from me. And I can tell you, I haven't been in New Jersey in two years. And my clients that were my clients still haven't found someone, they said, their words, as good as I am. That says a lot. In two years, they haven't found someone. So I have to start making trips back to New Jersey because I realize the level of work I can offer is something that doesn't, it, it's more rare than I thought, right? Uh, so that's what's very interesting. But the fact that I can take this very physical thing that I do and make it into a metaphysical thing that I can do um, just feels really good to me and it feels good because I love when people can feel good in their body. I love when I can see someone's whole life shift um, because I help them even even just like I could just energize, hold a spot on the body. I don't even have to like do like some major kind of like what we would, you know, we would call um, any kind of massage technique, um, the, the body will shift, the mind shifts, the emotions shift, the connection of spirit shifts. So the fact that I can offer this now um, metaphysically is just such a joy for me. And I know and what I, what's kind of reverberating back to me is the joy that your bodies are reflecting. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, hang on. <laughs> okay, so there's some work being like what's happening is we're working. Um, you're getting, and I can't remember the name of it. So it's not Jin Shin Jitsu. It's not Shiatsu. Um, it is a Japanese form of like reflexology that I can't remember the name and it's not typical reflexology. Oh good. I'm glad the baby's laughing. Um, but this is a very specific, um, Japanese technique for the feet that you're all receiving now. Um, so just tune in to your feet or even your lower legs. Lots of things are being like literally pulled out of people's feet. So there could be more room there. And again, the bones, the bones are singing. So I feel this like resounding singing of bones. <laughs> It's 
So let me know how that feels for you guys. Um, this is what this is something that's coming in right now that um, there's some sadness like there there might there are some sadness that people are carrying in their bodies right now and um, there's some sadness moving around the collective and it's important to be okay with being sad but not to get not to create more of your life from that sadness if that makes sense so it's like honoring the sadness and not getting mired in it this is important with regards to the virus because as the virus is hitting the lungs and the lungs emotional relationship has to do with sadness and grief so you may feel just because we're because we're talking about there's so much talk of a virus and it, so much talk of it, how it's affecting the lungs, that it may bring up old sadness. It's okay, just let it, there's like this feeling of like, just let it, just breathe through it, just be okay. And, and, and again, try not to let it create more of your life for you. It's like respecting it, honoring it, but letting it be what it is, right? So just be mindful. You might, you might, that might is a possibility, meaning like not everybody's going to feel that. Well, I didn't know that this is a possible thing. Um, some of you in your environment have some people that need to be crossed over and for some reason, your bodies are letting me know. And so there's this opportunity through this transmission for those, either those parts of the energy of the person, because sometimes we will take on a soul fragment of someone who's passed, or it could be just someone that is um, attached to where you live or work. There's this opportunity for release to go to, for that consciousness or piece of consciousness to go back to its source where it needs to go and it's also some parts of you coming back into your body um so it's very interesting i'm like oh <laughs> and and part of it is it's kind of like the transmission that i'm offering is basically like this is the work i do this is the work the way the work went when i worked with clients um for years and so sometimes i'd get to a body part and i'd go oh there would be a soul fragment that needed to be released or a soul fragment that was coming back so that's why this is happening like this crystal says left ankle calf paint good hair apartment yeah it's weird <laughs> Yeah, so there's, you might have a sense of like, like just feeling a little bit more free to move or to be and to breathe and like just a, a sense of liberation because now the transmission is coming to a close. And there's um, gratitude coming in just from me, from my soul, from my soul aligned support and soul lineages for being open to receiving this work and for your feedback because it's they're they're actually telling me it's important for me to know that that um you know it's it's a little bit daunting right so i'm stretching and i'm stretching out in a lot of ways like so i did a sound healing transmission the other day i'm talking about essential oils again um so it's you know it's, I'm stretching out of my comfort zone to offer healing. And even when I was doing, you know, in-person sessions in New Jersey, I didn't always tell people what exactly what I was doing because I didn't know if they'd be open to it or it wasn't necessary to share. So I'm stretching into healing more because you guys are energy healers and I want you to be able to, to offer your own brilliance. And so I'm, I'm, I need to do it. I need to offer more so you can see what's possible as far as a realm of energy healing and um, to begin to tell you that at some point I will be training people how to do this but it's going to require a longer training because you have to be able to one well, part of the training is going to be hands-on work with bodies now if you already have that 
you're still going to have to go through part of the training. But if you don't have that, that's a necessary part because you can't do this work um, with the body without having some of that. And that's what's required um, by it's like we if you don't know, we have our bodies, we have builders of form of bodies like the Elohim created the human bodies. Right. That's the theory. We have other theories. We have other theories about aliens and star seeds and things like that. But for the most part. And so um, there needs to be some work hands on with the body before you can do this work. So part of it is. I don't recommend that you just like, you know, try to do this um, without understanding the body. And I don't recommend that you try to do this um, if you don't have a connection with um, your own soul or the builders of form in a very specific way. So this is coming down the road. The first step with this will be the soul connection system. And then, then there'll be a longer program. So it won't be until next year only because I think travel, I know the travel is going to be difficult throughout this year. So until I can travel to locations or you can travel to Kauai with, to, to do the training, then this won't, you know, this will be um, until that's more possible. So it gives you time to think about it and um, to think about if that's something that interests you. So, but the first part will be the soul connection system, which I'm, getting ready as we speak so if you have any questions please feel free to tag me in the comments below and um, and thank you for engaging and participating if you're here live or I'm watching the replay and lots of love and aloha to you all bye